Hey folks, I'm Mark Ryan. This is Super Review, and let's talk about a couple of new budget file IMs. We've got the file FD11 and the file FH11. And if you know their naming configurations, FD stands for dynamic driver. That means this is a single dynamic driver IM. It's coming in at, I believe, $40. And then over here is the FH11, H standing for hybrid. And that means it's got dynamic driver and one balanced armature. Um, and this one, I believe, is coming in at 50 bucks. So, uh, the, yeah, these are two new budget IMs. They're coming in basically exactly the same shell. They call it like this conch shape. Um, the only difference or slight aesthetic difference is that the FH11 is coming in a slightly darker shape. Or, uh, yeah, darker color. That's the word. Uh, and then you can see that the star shape here is slightly different. You've got a six-sided star here and then a five-piece star on the FH11. Um, let's see what I can say about the physical form factor. Let me do a bit of a fit demonstration as I talk about this. I would say that fit on this thing is, is pretty decent. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it doesn't fit super stable. I'm going to try to get this thing on the camera as best as possible. Um, but they are, you know, nice and small earpieces. And like a lot of dynamic drivers, like it doesn't like go in there and hook into the ear or anything like that and fit super stable. But I don't know, I didn't really have any issues with it. I would say that mostly for the most part, it is just, it comes across small and it comes across uh, not uncomfortable because as you can see, there are no like hard edges or anything on this thing. And it is an all metal shell, which is a pretty nice um, build attribute, honestly, of an IEM that comes in, especially this one at 40 bucks. Uh, it is quite decent in that sense. Um, the other things that are standout about these are just interesting to note is the uh, the cable that it comes on. They are, they both come on basically the same cable. You can see that they vary in terms of color, um, but you know, it's pretty nice, simple, um, simple weave. It's fairly thin and lightweight. Uh, no real complaints about it, apart from the fact that partly because of how thin it is and partly because of the aggressiveness on these ear hooks, which if I wanted to, I probably could tame with a little bit of hair dryer action. Um, but because of the, those combinations, they are you know, a little bit tangly, but I don't know, that's getting a little picky, I think. The other thing that's interesting, okay, this is actually what I really wanted to mention about this cable, is the fact that it is, ta-da, a two-pin cable. And typically FIO does NMCX, so it's interesting to see that they're doing two-pin. I don't know that this is necessarily a new direction for them, or this is just what they tend to do with their more budget IMs. I actually don't know, um, but it was nonetheless interesting to me that they were going with two pin, and that is true of both the FH and the FD11. Now, in terms of sound, let's head over to squig.link real quick, all right, and um, talk about the frequency responses, because this is where you're going to see the differences show up more so than, well, okay, you'll hear me describe the differences as well. Uh, but mostly, like, they're they're pretty similar sounding IMs. They're both, I would say, kind of, you know, V-shaped IMs, right? So here, you're looking at the graph for the FD11. Now you're looking at the graph of the FH11. And can you point out the differences? I mean, if you saw them like that, probably not a whole lot. So what I will do is load them up on top of each other. And where I think the differences in this graph stand out or sorry, in this graph match what I'm hearing is mostly here in the treble region where I do hear the FH11, again, that's the hybrid version, to be quite a bit brighter than the FD11. Um, and also overall, I think the FD11, like the bass has just got more tactility, more physicality behind it. It's it's just, it's a lot tighter and punchier. Whereas I do find the bass on the FH11 kind of softer in comparison, which was an interesting distinction. Cause again, you look at them on graph, they look basically the same. Um, and then also I did find honestly the FH11's treble to be a little bit sibilant and kind of a little bit irritating and a little splashy. Um, whereas the FD11, look, this is like not my ideal frequency response for an IEM, but check this out. Check this out, okay? Um, this is the frequency response of the FD11. Here's the frequency response of the FD3, which was a $100 IEM. Looks almost the same. Here's the FD5, which is a $300 IEM. Looks almost the same. So you're, you're basically with the FD3 or sorry, the FD11, you're getting the sound of some of FIO's more expensive dynamic drivers in a package that, you know, it's a pretty nice little build quality, again, um, and nice little shell for 40 bucks. This is not a bad pick. The FH11, I would personally, though, steer clear of because of those sibilance issues and because of the fact that 
I just, I can't think of anything that this IM does better than this one. And it costs 10 bucks extra. So um, yeah, save your money, get that one. I would say the FD11, this is like a solid three star out of five. And the FH11, I'd probably give just two stars. But if you want to check them out, well, of course, I've got them linked in the description down below. And shout out to File for sending in both of these for review. I've got them linked as well. And uh, while you're down there, if you found this video helpful, you liked it, please do subscribe to the channel, ding the YouTube bell, and hit the like button, my friends. Please hit that like button. And share the video with someone who you think might like it. And uh, I'll catch you on the next Super Review. Cheers.